Hey guys, in this math tutorial we're going to learn about factors and in order to do this tutorial successfully you would have to be pretty comfortable with multiplying and dividing numbers so if you can remember how to multiply numbers let's say 3 times 5 is 15 now 3 and 5 are both factors of 15 so what that means is in order for a number to be a factor of 15 all it has to do is uh, it can multiply another number to give you 15 and if that's the case then it is a factor of 15 so 3 times 5 is 15, therefore 3 is a factor of 15. And same thing with 5. 5 times 3 is 15, so 5 is a number of, is a factor of 15. So if you wanted to list all the factors for 15, then you have 1, 1 times 15 is 15 2 won't go into 15 3 times 5 is 15 4, no, 5 times 3 is 15 uh, and that's it so the factors are 1, 3, 5 and 15 okay let's do another one lists all the factors of 20 so we have 1 times 20 is 20 uh, 2 times 10 is 20 3 doesn't go into 20 4 times 5 is 20 and that's it you can't think of anything else so therefore the factors are 1 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Now let's try another one. List all factors of uh, 36. So we have 1 times 36 is 36. So you probably notice that 1 is always a factor and the number itself is always a factor. If the number is an even number, so 6 is an even number, ends with an even number, so therefore uh, 2 is definitely a factor, so 2 times 18 is 36, and then 3 times 12 is 36, 4 times uh, 9 is 36, and uh, 5 doesn't go into 36, 6 times 6 is 36. So basically you keep increasing the first number that you're multiplying with, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and you keep decreasing the second number you're multiplying with until you end up with very close numbers uh, that you're multiplying to give you 36 and that's usually the end so you probably can't think of any other numbers that go into 36 so therefore the factors are 1, 2, 3, 3 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36 okay so remember that we have factors of 20 and we have factors of 36 so now if the question says what is the highest oh sorry let's do what is the common factor actually there might be more than one so what are the common factors for 20 and 36 
So you can see that you both have one, so I'm just going to circle the numbers that are in both uh, I'm going to circle the factors that are in both lists. So 2 is in both, 4 is in both, and uh, that's it. So 1, 2, and 4. And if the question says what is the highest common factor, then the answer is 4. 4 is the highest common factor, which we also abbreviate as HCF. Okay, now let's do another one. What is the highest common factor, HCF, highest common factor, for 30, <clears throat> 36, uh, actually we've already done that, 42 and 48. Okay, so 42, we have uh, 1 times 42, uh, 2 times 21, uh, 3 times 12, uh, 4 doesn't go into it, oh, actually 12 won't go into it either, so 14. Uh, we have uh, 4 doesn't go into it, 5 doesn't go into it, 6 times 7 is 42. Okay, so these are the factors. Uh, so factors of 42, we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, 42. And for the number 48, we have 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 times uh, 19, sorry, 3 times 16, 4 times uh, 12, 6 times 8, and uh, that's it. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24. 48. Okay, so out of the two lists, we can see that we got 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 6. These are the common factors. We can't see anything bigger than 6. So therefore, 6 is the highest common factor. Okay, so I hope from this tutorial you learned how to find the highest common factor for two numbers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.